There's a major issue with Call of Duty Black Ops 6's fan favorite game type, Infected. This gameplay is going to highlight those issues for the Treyarch developers and hopefully they can fix it before it's too late. I played over a hundred lobbies of Infected in Black Ops 6 and I can say confidently this happens in over half of them. This is an epidemic and it's ruining the game type that I love. Thankfully for Treyarch, I'm a leading expert in this field ever since I got the world's fastest MOB in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And even before that, we were playing in 2007 COD 4 private lobbies. It was called Michael Myers, and that's where this game type was inspired from. You're going to see every time I get a kill, we're going to zoom into the kill feed and people leave and leave and leave and leave. And it's kind of heartbreaking as an infected player because... I die multiple times, then I get one kill. Die multiple times, get one kill. And it's a shame because infected players don't get rewarded. You're going to see a total of 10 infections from myself, and I'm at the bottom of the leaderboard. One reason that I think people leave is because they don't get rewarded. So an uh, easy solution is to increase the amount of XP for each infected kill. I would suggest a scaling system where if you get one kill you get 100 xp i don't blame this guy for a rage quitting that was a pretty nasty tomahawk and then at your second kill you get 200 at your third kill you get 400 then you get 800 then you get 1600 then 3200 then 6400 then 12800 and and so on and so forth but in its current place you are just a bot basically and you don't get rewarded whatsoever and there's no punishment for leaving back in the day when you left an infected lobby and tried to join again you got put in the infected spot. So punish these people. They're being spoiled brats. They need to be put on timeout. If you leave an infected lobby, five minute timeout or go back to the same lobby that you left. There needs to be some kind of solution to punish these people. And at the very least, what you could do is when you're about to rage quit, you could put a little message. Are you sure you want to ruin everyone else's experience because you're a spoiled brat? And then like play some eh sound like in Warzone when someone gets eliminated. Do something of that nature to punish these people for leaving because this is not in the spirit of Call of Duty. This is so cringe, these lobbies. I'm telling you, I played more infected lobbies than all the Call of Duty developers combined, I would estimate. And I'm giving this advice for free because I love the game. And I know what I'm talking about. I know it's kind of cringe to say I'm a leading expert in the field. I'm not good at many things. But Call of Duty Infected Mode... I am good and I have solutions for this and it's easy solutions. It's not game breaking $50,000 to fix it. It's a few lines of code. Just increase the XP for the infected. That's the most simple reason or simple way to do it. Now, one would say they changed something drastically with infected mode where, I mean, look at this lobby. There's 14 people in the lobby out of 24. So 10 people have left after being infected. One simple basic solution would be to have the infected get a gun at first like they did for all of call of duty history now i would say they're trying to make infected kind of like the zombie mode and i really like how they have these ai zombies because infected is the perfect game type to warm up on the first few minutes you can run around and get your omnidirectional movement because there's not a lot of action and then you can shoot the AI uh, zombies to warm up by not affecting your statistics. Look at this. This guy has the audacity to leave. That makes no sense. There's only three people left. They leave for no reason. Don't give them any XP for leaving. Matter of fact, give them negative XP for leaving. This is a major issue. So usually the first infected would have a gun in Call of Duty Pass. Now, I see that they're trying to make this game like zombies, so I would suggest the first infected should be a stronger zombies. I'm not a huge zombie player, but I know that there is a type of zombie when you get to like level 30 in the zombie mode that's way stronger than the other zombies. The first zombie should have some more uh, utility or something else other than what's going on now because they just have a gun and a tomahawk it's kind of hard when, you know, there's 15 seconds before the game starts. So you have enough time to get into a power position. And it's really hard to break those ranks when there's 15 people 
that are on top of the castle and there's only one ladder to get up the castle you can't break that defense it's very hard so i think that's why people leave too they're like oh i got killed by this lucky tomahawk why not just leave i'm not gonna get any experience look at this 1400 experience are you kidding me for 10 infects that's crazy call of duty now i could say this game took four years to develop but why do the infected have guns at the end they should have a tomahawk when they're doing that and all these stupid you know emotes whatever they should not have guns that's lazy developing right there in my opinion this is not a finished product which kind of gives me hope that they're gonna fix this going forward but why do the zombies have guns at the end screen that makes no sense other than being lazy they should have a tomahawk flip it around juggle it maybe take off their arm their arm could be a gun or like they have like an a, a player's head or something that's their gun instead of having it but at no point do the infected players have guns that makes no sense to me and then i'm just so disappointed in some of these aspects now it's early on i think they can fix it i know i'm getting a little passionate but I just love this game type because I think it's very important to have a fun game mode. Black Ops 3 had no fun game modes. They removed the wager matches. They removed gun games, sharpshooter, sticks and stones, one in the chamber. For some reason, who knows why. But for me, when I game, I'm locked in. I barely go to the bathroom. I barely stand up. So I play an hour of team deathmatch and it's very fun to go to infected for a game or two just to kind of cool off to kind of reset to get away from the skill based matchmaking but sometimes in these lobbies i mean i showed you that example on babylon and the only reason why we won is because i persisted and i got 10 infects personally i think the other people got like two infects total so what i'm trying to say is that oh man it just doesn't make any sense to me like why there's no punishment you need to punish these people and you need to reward the infected more so that's my thoughts on this very important issue this very important game mode it's not the most popular game mode but it's like i don't play capture the flag at all i don't play search and destroy i know there's a lot of search and destroy players but you know some of you guys don't play certain game modes but it's just refreshing to every once, every 20 games, every 10 games, you go to an infected lobby, have some fun. A lot of people are on the mic, they're goofing off and you get the, get the party chat feature. You get to talk, you know, some trash and whatever. It's just funny moments that happen in infective and it's like comic relief. So please do something. I gave you practical solutions. I hope they take notes, Treyarch developers. I'm giving you this advice for free out of my love of the game. As a leading expert in the field, I could probably consult for $10,000 an hour. I gave you the, the practical solutions. Implement them. Please. I'm telling you, please. Because I, I showed you the Babylon gameplay, but I didn't show you the hundreds of games where there's nothing to show. Where I'm just sitting around with my thumb up my you-know-what. And just waiting for something to happen. Someone dies, they leave. Someone dies, they leave. Someone dies, they leave. And then the infected player that was first, they leave because they're sick of it. And then there's five minutes of wasted time. And the score is 0 to 18. And everyone in the lobby gets less than 1,000 XP. That's not a good experience. It's not. And it's so close. This is the best version of Infected I think I've ever seen. And I would also suggest maybe go back to Modern Warfare 3's version where if you get a nuke, the game doesn't end. But all the Infected die and you can continue on. I think that would be cool too. I don't like how the nuke ends the, um, the game. And some could say, well, the nuke ended the game in Modern Warfare 2. That's true. But Modern Warfare 2 didn't have infected mode. I don't know if the Call of Duty developers know the history. Like I said, I'm a leading expert. I'm a historian of Call of Duty. I have the game time. Uh, this is, I don't know how else to put it. This is the only thing that I'm good at. All right. So in Modern Warfare 3, 
the mob didn't end the game. It did kind of change the map in Ghost, the chem strike. It changed the map and there was that haze over the map, but the lobby continued. And it'll be cool to get multiple, like your boy gets a mob, then you get a mob or nuke, whatever you want to call it. But in its current state, it's it's so close. And the good the games that are good are great. Don't get me wrong. But they're they could why stop here? Why stop Call of Duty? I know you could do it. It's very simple. It's literally a few lines of code. Just 2x every xp that's all you have to do if you don't want to do all the other stuff that i suggested just give more xp to the infected i think that would help a lot and punish the people who leave so that's all i gotta say about infected well that's 10 minutes of uh, expertise on infected and i uh am very passionate about this game mode because it's a really fun game mode and i think it's important to to have these uh comic relief uh game types to you know take a break from skill-based matchmaking so i appreciate you guys for listening i hope the triarch developers heed this warning and take this expert advice and um that's your host with the most white boy seven street we got the goat t-shirts back link is in the description and i'll see you on my streams where i'm going to be playing infected i'm still going to play it because i said this game mode is really really good when it goes good but half the time people are spoiled brats and they just leave. So fix this, please. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Headbutt. Oh my God. I got, I was sweaty.